Hey everyone, Rachel here from the Lone Star Crafter. I'm back at it with you today with a second part of my sewing room tour. Um, not everything is put away or organized quite yet, but I did finish unpacking all the boxes and I sort of moved things into their general area. So I just kind of wanted to give you an update with how I'm doing with the sewing room. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn around the camera. So here we kind of see, here's the door. Now you can see you can actually walk through it. I did move the kayak up a bit. Um, I think at this point in time, we are just gonna leave it on the floor, just since we do live in an apartment and trying to mount it and everything like that would be kind of a pain in the butt, as well as if we do ever wanna be able to go out on the kayak, um, it'd be much easier to just get it off the floor. So you can walk through the door now, which is great. I believe in the last video I did have the table set up this way. And so far I do really like that setup. It's really nice to have just so much space to work with. Um, you know, if I'm sitting at my desk doing, you know, like writing in my planner or something like that, it's nice to have kind of space to spread out and everything like that. Um, the machines are not in the places they're gonna live quite yet. I actually haven't even plugged in my Janome machine since we moved. And I did about two lines of stitching on my Singer machine to fix my husband's mask really quick. So I actually haven't even gotten any sewing done since I've been here. I just have been unpacking, trying to organize bit by bit, things like that. Um, so at this point, Right now I have the ironing board over there. It's probably not gonna live there. More than likely it'll live over here in this area. It just makes more sense. Um, okay, so right here I have the dresser. I did empty out all the clothes except for that sock right there. And I did put like paper stuff in here. So the bottom drawer is like personal stuff. Um, let me open these up for you guys. And here I have all sewing machine patterns, my instruction manual, that quilt, a quilt kit, just like sewing papers, mostly patterns and things like that. And here I have my little junk journal. This bag is full of paper crafting stuff. And then this is letter writing supplies. So that's general paper craftiness slash junk journal. This is gonna be Happy Planner stuff. Um, so I do have a bunch of Happy Planners. This is my one from last year. So I'm just gonna keep the books in here just so they're not collecting dust on their shelves. I have this recipe one that I've barely filled out. So that's something I definitely wanna get more into this year. And I am gonna be making more videos um, about Happy Planner um, putting stickers in and doing layouts and things like that. Here are all my Happy Planner stickers. Um, I definitely have a few. I just kind of toss them in here and I have other non, you know, I have other stickers as well. And then this is the sticker box I had when I was, since I've, I've had it since I was a little kid. So that's, you know, 25 years old, which is kind of crazy to think about. And then I have my laptop right here, which is actually really nice because I can keep it plugged in and the cord just reaches to the corner of the desk here, which is really nice. And here's a little empty bag I'm using for garbage right now. And then the closet definitely needs to be organized still. Uh, but I generally have everything like this is a bunch of stash fabric and like kind of started project like random blocks random pieces of sewing projects, bits of batting and things like that. Uh, obviously I just like tossed everything in here. I wasn't really concerned about it at the moment. I do have to come in here and actually organize it at some point. I moved my wedding dress over here just cause it's a little bit more out of the way. I have, you know, air mattress, some personal papers, a box full of things. Um, this is a bag of batting, like actual big pieces of batting and some foam. These are a bunch of quilts that I actually want to hang up at some point when that'll happen. You know, who knows? Uh, this is a project I had kind of started 
at the end of last year, but I'm not... I haven't organized the whips yet, so that's the next video to come. I'm going to organize my whips and, and see kind of where that project has a place because I still have... I've been cutting the fabric out as I do each block, so that's why. Um, right here is the decoration bin, so the bottom one is Christmas, and it's so full, it's pouring out, literally. And then this is sort of Halloween and fall. I kept them out for a little bit because I knew I had some random bits of, you know, like fall and Christmas decor hanging around in some of the other boxes that I unpacked. And so I was able to get those in the bins and they're just going to live in this closet. Here I have a bunch of scraps. Um, I had, you know, started keeping my scraps in the Lori Holt method. One and a half, two and a half, three and a half, five and seven inches. And at first I was going to get rid of them all, and so I packaged them up like I was going to, I don't know, sell them or give them away. And here they are. They came with me. So, you know, that's that. Um, and then here's a bunch of outdoor chairs. And there's a tent, a pop-up tent thing in here. Here's some more paper crafty, kind of not paper crafty stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. That's just kind of living in here for a second. That suitcase is full of other bags, so like duffel bags and backpacks and things like that. And then our little airplane pillows. I just actually just snapped them onto this thing and they kind of hang there, which is nice because they're not taking up room on a shelf. And then I have my printer. I put it on this lower shelf so that when I do need to access it, I can just pull it down. I like it having it right there. Uh, the Christmas decoration stayed up there. The file folder moved. The box for my light ring is up there, and then that bag stayed up there for now, too. I do definitely want to come in here and organize it, bleh, organize it a little better. I might end up switching this bins over there and moving the fabric bins here. But it kind of just depends on how, how frequently I find myself reaching in for the stash fabric this year. Okay, and then this little shelf... I think I said in my previous video it was going to sort of stay a catch-all. There's some art books, some self-help books. I have a bunch of my photo albums, some quilting books and things like that. That bag is my sewing machine stuff, so a power cord and foot control. Um, and then these are things I want to hang up. Here's all my video electronic stuff the boxes at least and then this is like a pile of stuff that needs to go up on the walls or something like that I gotta have my little cat I love this cat who painted this uh, Pierre Bonnard I got to see this at um, in Paris I forget which museum I think it's the Musée d'Orsay and it was such a cute little cat and so I got a postcard of it and I just love him. He's so cute. Okay, and then I did, this is probably the one of two things I actually managed to put up on the wall. And it's just a little shelf, you know, with some fun little knicky knack stuff. My husband got me this Goofy Disney pin for Christmas, and I love it because I love the Goofy movie. Goofy's my favorite Disney character. So he got me that, and it's a limited edition, so... We're kind of into Disney pins. We don't spend too much money on them. So the fact that he got me that one means a lot because I know he spent some money on it. And then I just have some crystals here, a little Eiffel Tower. This is a redwood tree from an actual redwood, uh, you know, carved from actual redwood. So that just reminds me of California. And then I have this little jar of feathers. I like collecting feathers. And then a little seashell and then just like another little crystal. So I just, I got that shelf up. I might rearrange it again um, once I get all of this kind of squared away and put away. And then if you come over here, I have some whips. These are two different ones. These are a bunch of t-shirts. There's my little trash cat. Got my planners out because that's what I've been kind of working on currently. Just kind of getting organized and ready for the new year. Trying to sort of establish a morning routine and things like that. 
I still don't currently have a real, well, I guess I shouldn't say real job. Well, yeah, I don't have a job right now. So I am looking for a job, but in order to keep myself really focused on doing that every day and everything like that, you know, I got to work in my planner and things like that. Um, so I have some scraps there. Those are like smaller scraps. I might end up throwing those in the closet as well. Underneath, I just kind of tossed everything. Uh, these drawers are fabric drawers and they kind of suck. I really don't like them at all. So I can't really put too much of this stuff in there. And then a lot of the stuff, like especially in that bag, are, are things that I reach for a lot. And so I just need to get some desk organization happening, maybe some drawers or something like that. You know, something where you put your pens and things like that in there. And then here I do... Uh, these are all my works in progress, my whips over here. Um, so I've kind of tried to organize it and I've definitely tried to limit it to things that I actually need to get done this year. Nothing like I have a couple, there's two, there's three things in here that haven't even been started yet. So I may end up moving those into the closet again until I get everything else worked out. I have a few things in here that have been kind of on hold for a while and I am going to do a video where I talk about each project individually. So I've just kind of tossed everything over here for now. These bins all each have a project in them. That bag has a different project. This pink bag in, down here is an embroidery project. So, you know, there's lots to do here. And right now this is just sort of a cacophony of stuff this is probably not gonna i don't know i need more shelving in here at some point so i'll have to figure out that and then i did get my thread stand thingy thread peg or something like that i got that hung up that was easy because i already had the command strips on the back of it and they're just velcro so i just had to put new ones on the velcro and then stick that to the wall and then of course i have my little unicorn pusheen hanging out there and that is pretty much it. That's everything I have have done so far in here. I definitely did get a lot of progress done considering we've only lived here for a week. So I think that's pretty, pretty good so far. I'm definitely going to work on organizing it a little bit better. And right now I'm going to be filming my whips um, video. So that'll help me organize that whole area as Alrighty, thank you guys so much for joining me on the part two sewing room tour. As I get things more organized and things like that, I'll be keeping you up to date. And if I add any more furniture or shelvings, um, I'll let you know too. So if you like this style of video, please like and subscribe. So that way you can stay tuned for any more updates I have to the sewing room. Have a crafty day.